everybody Anne here just sitting here on my porch having my coffee with all of you and the beautiful beautiful sunshine man it is blazing today I am gonna get some power in and I really really need it and just a second you're gonna see why all right guys I don't know if you can see it back there there's a big box and it says what it is on the box so I'm gonna go home and we're gonna open this check that out this is a compact refrigerator. It's energy efficient. I had it on my wish list and somebody got it for me. So I'm going to crack this open and see how it does on my solar. All right. This is going to be hard to get out of here. I might just have to tear the whole box open to be able to get it out because you're not supposed to tip it over. Oh my gosh. Please do not return to solar, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Okay. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to crack this open and try and get it out, and uh, I won't put you through washing all that. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, that wasn't so hard. You basically just take the box off the top of it. Energy guide, I'm going to hold on to this. 212 kilowatt hours yearly electric use. All righty, so let's see. I can just get it off. It comes right off of this. Oh. Alright, I need to find a place for this. Oh my gosh, I cannot freaking believe this. I put it on this side of the house because this is the coolest side of the house. I've got a long, uh, extra long, heavy duty extension cord that I can hook up to it. Before I do anything, I'm going to read the instructions. Um, oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at this, guys. Look. Isn't that adorable? Check it out. It's got a little drip tray and it comes with oh, cute little ice tray. Oh my gosh. All right, let me read these instructions and then we'll see if we can fire this baby up. This is where I decided to put it and I could even put my little magnets on it. Those little magnets are all little recipe books. They're so cute. So it's over here and I've got it far enough I've got a few inches away from the wall and it says you need to leave at least two inches and I've got my heavy duty extension cord down there I kind of am keeping up it up right now where I can reach it and touch it just to make sure that it's not heating up so it is here and let's take a look at my solar and one thing I needed to tell you is I hooked this up last night so this is being filmed the day after now when I hooked it up my solar was registering um, 12.4 which isn't completely full but darn near full I hooked it up and it cycled all night long and see that fan just went off every once in a while the fan on my inverter will go on it'll beep and then it'll go on when the uh, refrigerator starts you know doing its cycle thingy um, so it went all night long and it only got down to 11.9 and this was at when it was going to be drawing its most electricity because it was getting cold, you know. Um, it instructs you to turn it up all the way to 7, which is the highest setting for the first 15 minutes. I left it at that for probably an hour, and it got real nice and cold in there. So I've turned it back down to number 4, which it recommends for most houses, and it's nice and cold in there. So here, let me turn around and see what the solar's doing now. It's at 12.1. And this, this is the inverter that I'm using. I had to get rid of my 1000 watt inverter because the fan stopped working and it started heating up. So this cycles on and off. And when it does it, there's a big, loud fan. So um, I need to get another inverter. I will get one um, very, very soon. Uh, I probably need about a thousand watt inverter, so 2,000 peak. I don't know if it'll make the same kind of noise this one does, but if I need to, oh, let me get this cord out of the way. Um, if I need to, I can survive on this one at least for a while. Uh, I just can't tax it too much. But I don't know if you can see this. Oh, you can't see it because of the light. When it cycles on, um, the refrigerator, you know, clips on there's a little dial down there that says that it's only being taxed up to 25 percent so that is awesome I can run that refrigerator on this inverter and I think it's gonna be okay now here we're already back to 12.1 
from 11.9 this morning and we're bringing in oh only 1.1 amp let's go take a look at the solar panels oh that's why because the sun is coming up over the trees so the solar panels are slightly shaded in oh I don't know I estimate about I'm thinking in about another hour, the sun is going to be fully beating down on these solar panels. Now, for the last few days, since I hadn't been using a whole lot of power, I have just let, left them in this position, this way. And um, I've just been bringing in plenty. But with that refrigerator, I'm definitely going to have to kind of move the panels around in accordance with where the sun is. So in an hour, we're going to be good here few hours after that I'm going to move them over this way so I'll just kind of keep checking throughout the day and see how it's going oh and I wanted to mention to you I fertilized everything oh did you just hear that beep yep that was the inverter cycling back on again because the refrigerator is doing its job anyhow I uh, fertilized everything with those miracle Grow single gallon packets and these beans are already looking so much better as well as the cucumbers they're doing they're doing great this lettuce you know what I tasted some of it and it tastes kind of bitter I actually prefer the taste of the wild lettuce I've got growing all over my property but you know whatever uh, okay well let's just see what else this day is gonna bring I wanted to show you something else too let me open this door up. Well, it's not going to be the best, but someone also sent me 24 of these Gatorade that I love. I had it on my wish list. They picked it up for me, and I've already drank numerous of them. Several others I have on ice in an ice chest. But I put these in about an hour ago, and they're already starting to get cold. And also, I put in the mini ice cube tray. And let's see how it's, oh, it's, it's already starting to freeze a little bit. They're going to be ice cubes soon. Yes! <sighs> this is so freaking amazing. I cannot, I can't believe I've got a refrigerator. Both the refrigerator and the Gatorade came with notes. And they came on different days. But I think they're from the same person because I get for you, Jesus loves you, God bless, from Anonymous exact same wording so I have a feeling the same person got this for me and all I can say is thank you from the bottom of my heart you have no idea you I wish I could have filmed me when I got to the post office and picked that up uh, the, the lady and the guy there they were just cracking up in me I'm like oh my gosh it's a refrigerator and they're like what um, were you expecting this I'm no and they're like, well, do you want to send it back? And I'm like, ah, no. So thank you, whoever you are. Thank you so much for the Gatorade. I love those flavors and this refrigerator. This is just amazing. And I'm so thrilled that it seems like my, my inverter and the solar is going to work. And I also know that someone is sending me another solar panel. So I'm going to have the 300 watts like I need and um, it's just going to get better from here, you guys. Oh, I don't know what I've done to deserve this kind of kindness, but I love you all so much and never underestimate how much I appreciate each and every one of you. The ones who are watching my videos, like I've always said, that's so important. You don't have to buy me anything. Sorry, had a coughing fit. When I get excited, my mouth gets dry. But you don't have to buy me anything to feel like you're contributing to this channel. Just watching the videos, making comments, voting, up, up vote, down vote, either one is fine. Um, and I will tell you that I have made a change to uh, the display of the likes and dislikes. I don't feel like they were fairly representing true likes and true dislikes. Well, maybe likes. I don't know. <laughs> of course, nobody likes dislikes. But I noticed that... Um, Within seconds of my videos being published, there would be multiple downvotes, and there wasn't even enough time for whoever it was or whatever it was 
to have watched the video. So um, it seemed a little suspicious. I've been told that there's some bots on my account that are automatically downvoting. So nobody gets to see those anymore. I don't even see them. I don't know how many upvotes I got. I don't know how many downvotes I got. It is what it is. So if you notice that change, that's why I did it. Anyhow, I, I just don't know what to say other than thank you so much. It fits nicely there. I think it'll work out there because, uh, work fine just right where it's at. Uh, we'll just see and I'm going to watch my solar throughout the day and see how this holds up. Look at that. We're already at 4 amps and it's only been about 5 minutes since I checked it the last time. So the sun and the solar panels are doing their job. Look at there. The sun is fully on those solar panels and let's see how much solar we are bringing in. We're already up to 13.1 and it's only been about an hour since I filmed the last time. Look at that, 10.7. That is great and it's only going to go up from here. Yes! Okay, this has been running all day. It's about 3 p.m. right now. We're still at 12.2, which is okay. We're only getting in 1.4 amps because the sun has come over the trees. This has been cycling on and off. And I've also been charging things. I've been running this fan over here. And I've been running, oh, you can't see it, a fan over there and the refrigerator. So I think this is going to hold up. If I can get, if I end the day with at least 12.2 or 3, uh, I think it'll go overnight just fine. And I think we're going to be okay with the refrigerator situation. I'm going to go see if there's any ice cubes. Ooh, listen to that. It sounds like a real refrigerator because it is. Oh, yeah. We got ice. We've got a ice. Yay! Well, everything in my tiny refrigerator is super cold and it is super hot in this cabin. And I don't know, it's probably like 90 degrees in here. So that little refrigerator is having to work overtime. So it's not going to have to work quite as hard when the sun goes down, so I think we're going to be just fine. Whew. I am just so, so happy about this. Well, I'm just going to close this video out here on my porch, having my Gatorade Zero. I think this is Frost or something. I don't know. It's the blue one. I love it, love it, love it. And um, chill out, literally, because it's hot. But it's not as hot as it's going to be towards the end of next week, and i got to prepare myself for that. And, uh, well, I went and watered all the plants again today. Still have water left over. And, um, well, it's been a good day. A very, very good day. So, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.